So if you're in the tech world at all, you would probably know that a few weeks ago, WWDC happened, the Worldwide Developers Conference, and it was all online. It was a beautiful event, and immediately after, I turned on the camera, and I decided that I wanted to make a video about it. And I made a video about it, and I thought it was pretty good, but I decided not to release it. Today, we are talking about iOS 14. The public beta for iOS 14 came out, and so did public beta 2. And I was waiting for public beta 2 um, to release, um, and so I decided today is the day that I will get iOS 14 on my phone. And I did not get it on my iPad because at the moment I'm doing a lot of this YouTube channel stuff on my iPad and so I didn't want anything to glitch out or to crash. I'm gonna wait a little bit longer and see some more reviews and see some more feedback for it and um, if everybody says that uh, iPad OS 14 is great then maybe I'll put it on my iPad. Um, this year apparently was a pretty good beta year and um, the betas are not all that buggy. I uh, turned on my phone I don't know maybe 10 minutes ago and uh, I already noticed a bug, um, but I, you know, I mean, it's their beta, so it's beta software. Um, it's pretty good this year, but you can expect it to be a little bit uh, buggy. So I'm just going to take you through a few of my favorite new features on um, iOS 14, and we're just going to talk about some of the features that I love most, and talking about this whole world of beta software and everything like that. So um, join me. Let's go. So as I said, the first thing that I noticed, unfortunately, when I got into uh, the beta is a bug. And so that was not ideal, but for sure um, it is a beautiful piece of software and um, it looks great. I'm a huge fan of the new wallpapers, but just immediately right off the bat, I'm noticing a ton of awesome features and features that I've kind of forgotten about since uh, WWDC on June 22nd. Um, and so um, I kind of just opened my phone and all of a sudden I was like, wow, Wow. Oh, oh, I, I swipe to the side and all of a sudden there's an app library. Whoa, wait, what happened? Wh what? And it was such a weird phenomenon that all of a sudden I forgot that all this stuff was released. It was so exciting when it actually was released and when it happened, but I just never expected that, I don't know, I would be so excited about it, even though it's just a piece of software. So I have, I guess you could say, a long history of um, beta software. Last summer, um, I decided to uh, take a little leap and um, I downloaded the beta software for iOS 13 on, oh, it sounds so old, on my phone. And um, I wouldn't say it's a wrong choice. I got to brag to all of my cousins that uh, I um, had the new software. Um, and I, yeah, it was fine, I loved it. Um, and then once I, once the software, real software came out in September, I was just super excited about it and it was, all awesome and I was happy that I'd done it and this year it's almost no different there have been more bugs than I um, than I realized last year but for sure I mean it's a beautiful beautiful piece of software and uh, I love how aesthetically pleasing it is and how um, it just it feels very fast like it just feels very the animations are really smooth and I like when you swipe to the widgets the background or your home screen blurs and then the widgets are in focus. I really like that. And it just feels very like smooth motion. I love smooth motions, obviously. Um, and it just feels awesome. So I'm not gonna say the first thing you notice or whatever like that because uh, the first thing I noticed um, was nothing new. I thought the update had crashed or the update had messed up when I was um, downloading it because I just saw my regular wallpaper and I thought, oh man. And then I swiped up and I'm like, Whoa, widgets. And so that was also a strange phenomenon. But anyway, one of the first features that I noticed was the app library. And so I was just kind of swiping around a little bit and um, I swiped to the side and I saw this app library. And um, I think it is, an, I, I think it's a great tool. I have my home screen and then no more screens. I used to always put stuff in groups and then it'd be hard to find and I was very excited to have this to organize all my apps and everything like that because that's something that I always struggled with and so now it just does it for you and it's all automatically there. It's awesome. 
So honestly, the first thing that I noticed were these awesome widgets on the side. And uh, I just love how easy it is to take them, hold them down, and then just like move them around and just be able to easily um, move them and customize them. And it just feels very customizable, which is awesome. And then when you hold and put your apps into jiggle mode, then this is what Craig called it. Very funny, very funny guy. There is a little plus sign in the corner. When you click the plus sign, all of a sudden you have all of these awesome widgets and you have smart stack and um, smart stack is a great um, new feature. And so what smart, what smart stack will do is it'll basically turn all of your widgets into a widget sandwich. And um, when I take smart stack and click on it, you can customize how big you want your smart stack to be. And so there are two options. There's um, option, obviously, number one, which is smaller than option number two, which is bigger. And so I think I'm going to click option number two because I want my smart stack to be big. And there you go. All of a sudden it goes on really nice, clean animations. And uh, yeah, it's beautiful. And then um, all you have to do is you have to swipe between the different, um, all of your different, uh, widgets and then all of a sudden you just have these widgets right there and you don't have to have different widgets cluttering up your home screen which is awesome and then I don't what one thing that I don't really like is that uh, when you have a big widget on the top it takes up space for two uh, for two rows of apps uh, which means that there are apps that goes go on to the other page which I'm not a huge fan of um, but I would just move those and uh, take those out of my home screen and move them into the app library. But yeah, super clean and super easy motions and everything like that, which I really love. It's just very clean and um, feels like there are 120 Hertz refresh rate. <clears throat> so another feature that's awesome is in group chats. So I am going to write my friend um, Liam. Okay, so um, actually no, I'm going to write um, Naveed. Okay, so I'm gonna write, um, at Naveed. And then that pops up and does a really nice, you know, animation. All about the animations right here. And then I'm gonna write that and, uh, I'm going to write, how's the book coming? Question mark. So he's not gonna be able to see that because he doesn't have the beta yet. But, yeah super easy and then if i want to uh just write an inline reply secretly then all you have to do is you have to click on his name and you press reply bam and then all of a sudden his little thing pops right up and uh my my message to him pops up and i say uh just wondering dot 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 doing a video about iOS 14, dot, 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 send. And then we can see there's the little bracket that shows that it's an inline reply. Okay, so the next awesome feature um, are new Memojis. So right there, this is the Memoji setting and I'm just gonna hold that up there, hello. And we can go, oh, that smile looks not normal. Okay, edit, and we can see facial hair, ears, mouth, and then we have all of these different mouth things, head, eyes, and then we scroll down all the way to the bottom, there is a face covering feature. So my face covering is, um, I suppose my face covering is actually dark blue. No, let's do that. Let's do um, dark, yeah, there you go. All right, that looks like the color of my face covering. And so now I can show everybody that I am wearing my face mask. Okay, so I'm gonna send an emoji sticker and Let's see, there are also some new Memoji stickers. And so now there's also a celebration Memoji and there's the, <sighs> that wasn't very good, that Memoji. And then uh, we have some other cool Memojis. All right, so I'm just going to 
right, um, just a little thumbs up. Send. Bam. So the next thing I want to highlight is the translation app. Um, I was just pause for a minute there. The translation app. And so uh, I am going to translate from English to French. So I'm able to speak French. So maybe, yeah, okay, English, okay. And when you turn your device sideways or horizontal, it goes into conversation mode. And so I am going to say, um, hi there. How's the quickest way to get to the grocery store? Salut, comment est le moyen le plus rapide d'arriver à l'épicerie? Salut, comment est le moyen le plus rapide d'arriver à l'épicerie? Sounds pretty good. So that is a quick, nice translation feature. And then actually it shows you right there. the conversation when you turn it the other way. And I like that. It, you're able to see how, you know, what your conversation looks like. And then you can also type in, obviously. Um, and so, yeah. Hi there, how's the quickest way to get to the grocery store? I mean, and we have to be within six feet, so make sure to turn the volume up. You know. Still smooth animations. And they also, um, remember, they included the new um, volume controls and your ringer controls. Um, last year with iOS 13. And so, uh, you know, um, on the side, um, it'll pop up your little uh, volume icon and all that stuff. Um, but also, uh, you can also now take calls and FaceTime um, calls. And it's just a quick notification that pops up on the top. My brother is FaceTiming me and so it pops up on the top. I'm going to answer his call. And we can also see that there are some really nice um, animations like there. And then, hi. Hello. How are you? Good. I'm uh, recording um, my video right now. Here, say hi to the video. Do you want to say hi to them? No? All right, bye. Now, in the camera app, you can also switch your aspect ratios, switch it to 16 by 9, 4 by 3, or square. Oh, should I take a video or a photo? Who cares? Just drag the shutter button and lock it, and you have made a video in the photo settings. Uh, my dog is pooping, so um, don't, don't look at that, but uh, yeah, pretty cool feature. So that is another great feature. So that was just a quick look at all the different features that are in iOS 14. Not, I guess, all the features that are in iOS 14, but um, definitely a few of the ones that I noticed um, in my last 20 minutes of using it. Uh, so thanks for watching, and um, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. iOS 14. iOS 14. iOS 14. iOS 14. So, I was 14, I was 14, I was 14.